teams. Uh, what would you say are the uh, top two, three, or more reasons they've been able to accomplish that? Well, this Maple Leafs team is obviously a very good hockey team, but playing the best hockey that they've played all season. Their defensive effort, and I haven't, I, I haven't said this and thought this about a Leafs team gene in a long time because clearly that's been their Achilles heel. Their defensive effort tonight and in the game on Saturday was absolutely impeccable from a team defense uh, you know, standpoint. The Oilers can't get the puck across the blue line and maintain possession. Unbelievable team defense right down to the last guy. Goaltending was good, didn't have to be great. Two really, really strong efforts by the Leafs, Gene. Is this a situation where the Oilers are, are seeing the top team in the National Hockey League and, and in the process sort of figuring out what they need to do in order to match uh, not only a Canadian rival, but a rival eventually to try and get to the Stanley Cup? Hey, look, this is in a way good news for the Oilers, I think. They just got a lesson in the last two games that there's a, a completely different level here that they have to get to to compete with the best team in the North. So, look, Edmonton fattened up on Ottawa. They fatten up on Vancouver and Calgary, and that's okay. You got to beat those teams. And Edmonton's in clearly a second tier behind Toronto, but they're 28 games, uh, 24 games into, into a 56-game season, Gene. This is the time to learn that what we thought was enough isn't enough. They got plenty of time to get better, and they just watched and saw exactly what better looks like. Well, Sheldon Keefe uh, joked the morning of uh, this game that, hey, he's got room for Austin Matthews if he's ready. <laughs> Matthews is getting better, but at this point, anyways, they don't quite need the NHL's top scorers so far.